Good day, everyone, and welcome to Social Selling Wednesday. We're here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, and however that translates to wherever you are at across the world, around the world, uh, to talk about LinkedIn, social selling, Twitter, and all of the fun, exciting things that go in with the field. My name is Bob Woods. I am a social business strategist at PeopleLinks, as well as Executive Vice President of Coaching and Training at Social Sales Link. Michael? And something else too. Yes. Oh, and and I am a trainer and coach at Social Sales GPS, a service that's going to be uh, fully launching here in a couple of months. Uh, we encourage you to uh, to uh, stick around and and watch us grow. And if you want to be a part of our testing, uh, just go ahead and let us know. You just go to socialsalesgps.com, socialsalesgps.com. Thanks for yeah. catching that, Michael. I'm right. still definitely yeah, in vacation mode a little bit here. Well, Brim was on last week and she mentioned it, and I thought, oh, that's a good reminder for us yeah. to mention that as well. And yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Yeah. So my name is Michael De Groot, and I am a chief storyteller at StayingAliveUK.com, as well as a coach and co-founder at SocialSalesGPS.com. And yeah, come and check me out connect with me on LinkedIn and share your story. Yep, absolutely. Um, Michael and I and any of the coaches who are on this show and at Social Sales GPS at, at WOW would love to uh, connect with you on LinkedIn and uh, and help uh, everyone helps everyone expand their business. That's what social selling is all about. That's especially what LinkedIn is all about. And that's one of the many things that we talked about talk about here at Social Sales, uh, Social Selling Wednesday, rather. So uh, normally, it uh, looks like uh, Ted is trying to dial in again. Ted's having uh, connection problems this morning hopefully he got rid of all of the gremlins and he can and he can join us so we're if you're if you're joining us via audio only via one of the podcasts that we're on we're watching ted's head bubble in and out on the uh, blab <laughs> interface here um so i guess in the meantime um the show is normally <laughs> it hurts ted just said it hurts all the bubbling um Normally we talk, uh, normally we split this into uh, two segments. Uh, first is any changes that we've noticed on LinkedIn. And then each one of us has a uh, just one thing segment where we bring up something that uh, from our coaching and training that we want to kind of uh, spotlight in terms of social selling LinkedIn and uh, potentially Twitter as well. Of course, if you are on the line, quote unquote, in other words, if you're watching us, um, via Blab and you have access to the chat room, we would love to hear from you. You could type a message into the chat and we'll see it and we'll answer it as soon as, uh, as, soon as we see it uh, or as soon as it makes sense to bring it up. We also have one seat open that you can join us via uh, video and audio or if you don't want to show yourself or you don't have a camera, you know, if you're in pajamas or whatever, which, you know, happens. Uh, um, you can uh, you can join us just via audio only. Just uh, just click on the open seat, and Blab's interface will walk you through how to do all of that. Um, so Ted says he's going to go to Plan B with his laptop, so he'll be back here in just a couple minutes. So in terms of changes, uh, as as I think I said before, I've been on vacation, so I obviously haven't noticed anything because I haven't really been on LinkedIn except to um, except to just read the uh, the any messages that come across and uh, and connect with uh, people who want to connect with me. Uh, Michael, have you noticed anything, or 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 or, or did I take a great time, or did I pick a great time to go on? On vacation yeah you you did pick a great time to go on vacation <laughs> it's been all quiet uh, I haven't seen any major changes pop up and in fairness the main things that are now changing are on the LinkedIn app there doesn't seem to be anything really going on on the desktop okay. and uh, so if I notice anything I usually notice it on inside the app okay I haven't noticed anything i the the it's a tiny tiny thing the the frequency now when i have a new connection uh or when anybody has a new connection i guess mm -hmm. it in the messages section it now tells you that that person is a new connection 
and you can then strike up a conversation from within messages straight away okay so that's that's pretty awesome it works uh, it's working on the desktop as well as on the application so okay um but i think that was old news it just didn't seem to be as regular as it had been previously mm -hmm. but now i'm seeing more instances still not every single one but more instances where that is appearing okay Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess um, I I actually kind of depend on you for the uh, for the um, app types of of updates because it, well, except for last week when when I was out, I actually use LinkedIn more on the uh, more on the desktop than I do uh, via the app. So, uh, and there is Mr. Ted. Hey, <laughs> well done. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> So how you doing today, sir? Good, good. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick, and then uh, we're talking about any changes uh, that we've noticed on LinkedIn, which uh, at, at least for us two hasn't hasn't really been a lot. I'm not sure if you have or not. Yeah, yeah. I'm Ted Pedromo, author of Ultimate Guide to LinkedIn for Business, Ultimate Guide for Twitter for Business, and mm -hmm. I help people with their online marketing. Excellente. Excellent. Uh, so uh, changes wise, Michael just brought up something really minor, but uh, but uh, as I had remarked to him, it seemed like a pretty good time for for me to go on vacation because there, there wasn't really and an, any noticeable changes in the past couple of weeks. I'm not sure if you if you've noticed any recently. No, I haven't. I think they've kind of gone into holding pattern. Totally up Either that or they were on vacation, too, for the uh, July 4th holiday here in, in, in the U.S. That's, that's always possible, too. That is a big cut, Michael. It just looks big because <laughs> it's reasonably big. But, yeah, there's just like this. Okay, so we're all taking refreshment breaks yeah. here. Stand by. <laughs> Okay, very good. Um, so we do have several people on in, in in chat. Just just want to remind you, if you have any questions, um, you can pop them in via chat. We are always monitoring, and we'll and we'll get to you as um, you know as soon as we can, or as soon as we're able to. If we're deep in a in a conversation here, you can also join us via the one seat that is open right now. You can do that um, uh, with video or, or video and audio or with audio only. If you don't want to show yourself, we definitely understand that. So with that in mind, um, because there haven't been a lot of changes in uh, or, or anything that, that we've noticed on, on any of the LinkedIn platforms, let's go to our just one thing segment, which is, um, which as I said before, is something that, uh, that, that we've noticed in coaching or something we just want to talk about uh, uh, in terms of LinkedIn, Twitter, and social selling. So, um, Michael, do you want to go ahead and go first with that? Sure. Yeah, I, I put a few questions in. Uh, it's it's. I'd like to have a chat about LinkedIn groups. We haven't talked about this for yeah seems ages. Yeah. Uh, since they made all the changes, mm -hmm. and I joined a group here in the UK called Small Business UK Network. And when I looked at this group, it's got about three and a half thousand members. So it's not insignificant a group. And it has a lot of people in there that I'm connected to. So I thought, let me test this out and see if I can post a question, like a proper conversation, no link, just bare bones, a real conversation topic and see if anybody responds. Because when I looked in the group, the only thing that was there for page after page after page were where people were posting links to articles. Mm -hmm. No comments, no mm -hmm. likes on anything. Just mm -hmm. link after link after link after link. Not mm -hmm. even an introduction to the article. Not even, hey, guys, I want your opinion on this. What do you think? I don't agree with this. Give wow. Me some, nothing. Zero. Wow. Ted's gone. Ted's gone. And um, so I did a bit of, so I put that on and surprise, surprise, nobody has responded to my question. It uh. was about why are you guys just posting links? Are, are there no real conversations? Some of that I can't remember the exact words. Right. So a few days after I had another look, 
and discovered that no one had commented. So I thought, right, I'll add another comment, right, mm -hmm. to my sure. comment. Right. And see if that gets any response. Yep. Again, zero, nothing happened. And so anyway, then I found an example of a guy. I won't mention his name, but he's based uh, in New York and uh he's a sales and marketing coordinator because i i noticed in my other groups that i belong to that when when you look at the um home page for groups it tells you you the highlights for the day or something mm -hmm. and i saw this person's article appearing in five different groups that i belong to yep so I tracked him out tracked him down and Every day he posts one article this in five groups. So the same article is posted in five groups and he's doing this for like days and days and days. He hasn't got many connections, very insignificant profile. But then I started noticing that a person, I won't mention the first name, last name, Mr. Green, and let's say Ms. Howard, and yeah these two people um writing a comment saying great post and well worth embracing nice article glad to have come across this one great info oh a lot to think through here interesting points very good insight thanks for sharing found this you really useful that went wow these people are really engaged they're commenting on every single article he's posted right then when i go and look at those people they are like sales manager united states retail um very just only about like 20 connections their profile is hardly filled out there's hardly mm. anything there it's a fake profile yeah it's a fake profile and they're fake commenting so they got somebody set themselves up so they 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 publish all this content to other groups and then go in as somebody else and comments on it as well wow wow, wow. how much work does that take to go and do all that fake stuff <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, because you would need to have separate email addresses for all these accounts. Yeah. And then you would need to go. I mean, even though you went through and basically set up those accounts, you would still need to do that. And, um, yeah, you know, but, but but not having a lot of information, you know, in those accounts. And then you would need to log in and log in and out, out of in and out of each account to even make these types of, of, um, of posts in general. I mean, it, it seems, I mean, I, I agree with you. These are obviously fake. Um, uh, these, these are obviously fake accounts. I guess the, the question I would have is, is, is this something that someone at Fiverr is doing and, you know, um, trying to, you know, trying to uh, boost someone's um, uh, on online presence through that, or is this a social media marketing agency type of deal doing that? Or, yeah. you know, I mean, those are the types of questions that go through my mind at, at, at that point. But but no matter what, it's it, it's obviously a pretty skeevy behavior, I think. Really, really bizarre. And it's, it's I'm kind of going, you know, what? Because I haven't been active in groups for months. Yeah, I have either. And, and yeah. you kind of go, really? What is the point of groups nowadays on LinkedIn? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree with that. I mean, there are some some good groups out there still, but there's but there's a lot that are just link posting farms or or, or that have devolved into link posting farms. I, I I guess you should say because I think, you know, all of these groups at one point started out with good intentions, but yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I I've know. seen some uh, quote unquote LinkedIn experts that are they have teams of people in India and the Philippines that do that kind of work. Really? They'll say they'll fill a webinar for you. And he, one guy posted he had 698 people registered for a webinar in a week just by posting to groups, he said. Hmm. So obviously he's hiring teams of people over there to just do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen that. There's some people, they 
go to the group moderator and they say, can you promote my LinkedIn class? I'll give you affiliate commissions. And then they have people that comment with those kind of fake comments. Oh, the best LinkedIn course is so-and-so. Yeah, jeez. And they're promoting it with their affiliate uh, links. And they have every post they do in every forum. At the end of it, they put a little disclaimer. Oh, the best LinkedIn course ever is yeah. blah, blah, blah. Bamboo by Sprout has a great comment. Uh, it's the antithesis. <laughs> God, I can't talk today. It's the antithesis of what social should be rather than building genuine engagement from actual advocates, which you advocates, which obviously is something that we all strongly encourage in, in our coaching and training. And we would agree with that statement. But, um, you know, for 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 every one of us there, there are five people out there who don't you know, who don't subscribe to what we we teach and how we like to do things. And, and I think it shows, I mean, because we are all dealing with people who are obviously B2B and, um, and who really want to grow business. And that's how you do it by building genuine engagement and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you guys have seen this more than, than I have, but it seems like all these affiliate links that are being posted by these people are like, are like one time only types of things more than anything else and there's and there's no real effort to to even um you know build engagement because once these people you know sign up you know whether or not they they show up that's fine and and you know it's just a, a turn and burn type of thing more than anything else yeah we'll be in business a year from now and our clients will be in business but they're they'll be off on some other venture these exactly spammers. Exactly. That's 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 the best way to look at it. That's the best way to look at it. Bamboo by Sprout says sad but true. Luckily, uh, it's what makes those who appreciate the authentic stand out, and that's and, and that's and that's a sentiment that I think all of us agree with as well here. So I'm going to start that. I'm going to start that. So very good. So um, Ted, what's what what's what's your one thing for for today's session? It's interesting. I started exploring groups again oh, too. This week. Oh no way! <laughs> you can tell we do not discuss this stuff before we come online. So, so that's funny, and that's actually not the first time this has happened. Where, where, where two of us, or all three of us, or if there's a fourth coach, all four of us are pretty much um, in Zapatico before we even uh, log on and, and get on the call. So, so, so Ted, what have your experiences been? Well, it came up in my coaching call last mm -hmm. week for Social Sales GPS. And somebody's asking me, are groups worth it anymore? And I said, I haven't really logged into a group in months mm -hmm. either. So I started going into some of the groups, and some of them had like 300 new conversations mm -hmm. today. Uh, and all they was was people blasting content there. There was no comments, no likes, no shares, no conversations. Wow. It was really sad. And I went to like 20 groups, and they all were just – blasting content mm -hmm. yeah. wow and that's people are teaching that that's what a lot of these quote unquote experts are teaching just blast your content everywhere and someone may respond yeah that's yeah that's something it's too bad that that is that is definitely too bad i mean you know linkedin obviously had had the best of intentions when they started it and then it got abused and that's why they implemented uh the changes that they did like last year, I think it was. And then, um, you know, and now even though there are tighter controls, there's there's still a lot of um, out of control stuff going on. And that's obviously mostly the fault of the people who are posting, obviously. But I do think that um, that that group moderators might might take some of the blame here just because they're not um, they're not really, really clamping down on these people. And, um, you know, it's, you know, being a group moderator is obviously, you know, it's an unpaid position. It's a thankless job and everything else. I've done group moderating before and I know all these things. But, um, but you know, there is there is some responsibility there. And, and, and if it comes down to, you know, d deleting these people and kicking them out of groups and things like that, that's that's the way it should be. And that's what these moderators should should be doing. Well, I think this is, there's a great opportunity here as well mm -hmm. for us. For us to start a group that is, you know, there are no links allowed in this group. <laughs> you know, that's the conversations only conversations only. Only conversations. The trouble is, will people honor it or will they still share links? You know, if you 
Yeah. If there was just one rule, because often people go, yeah, here are the rules. Don't do this. Don't do that. Do that. Do the other. But we just have one rule. No links. No links. And no, and no swearing. Or maybe no swearing <laughs> as well. <laughs> but essentially no links at mm -hmm. all. If you post their link, you're out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, may it, one strike, you're out. One, one strike, you're out. Do not even get any opportunity. I mean, I... I'm, a couple of years ago, I moderated a group here in the UK that was really good, really big in the West Midlands area and literally had tens of thousands of people in it. And I volunteered to do it. Somebody asked, would you mind, you know, joining in and volunteering? Because I was quite active in the group. And I said, yeah, sure, I'll have a go just to experience what it's like. And when I, I sent some interesting emails then to people who were abusing you know, mm -hmm. the, the stuff that they shouldn't be doing as per the rules. Right. Well, the abuse I got back was really violent. You know, it was not nice. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I stuck it out for a year and then I went, that's it. I've had enough of moderating groups. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. But some people are very, very nasty when you comment on the fact that they are not adhering to the rules. Right. Right, yeah. And that actually... I, I have a question. Sure. You guys. I am in, I don't even know how many Facebook groups, but Facebook groups, there's real conversations. People ask for help. Mm. People give them help. Mm -hmm. There's no blasting of content. There's no spamming. If you're spammed, you're kicked right out. But LinkedIn, it's like the moderators don't do their jobs, but Facebook, they do. Why is that? Yeah, it's... it's that air, that's a good question. I think it's a natural, because it's more personal, there's a natural tendency to have a personal conversation with somebody mm -hmm. and to genuinely answer any questions without posting links. Yeah, and in LinkedIn, I guess people are thinking, business, 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 I'm, I must promote what I'm doing, I must, I must share my blog post or you know, get people, you know, I need to get traffic to my site and I need to prove this and I need, so there seems to be that pressure of it's business and you've got to get business and therefore this is what you've got to do. Yeah, so maybe on the part of group moderator, or I mean, group moderators for LinkedIn versus group moderators for, for Facebook, um, you know, maybe Facebook group moderators take it more personally because it is personal and 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 there's more feelings with 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 um with personal types of, of things as opposed to linkedin which is which is business and people you know kind of go ah it's just business who who cares i mean you know maybe maybe there's a slightly different type of attitude among among um among those two groups of group moderators basically mm. yeah I don't know, it's just a theory yeah i i, I well, I have my my LinkedIn class. I have a Facebook group for it because nobody would talk on oh, the LinkedIn no. group. <laughs> it's really weird. It's yeah. such a shame. It's such a shame. And I guess, you know, because again, apart from the fact that we've got the uh, the the group, the LinkedIn group app, right? Which isn't really that great, and they haven't really continued to develop it. So. It's not something that's natural that you would go to in the evening, let's say. But on Facebook, the likelihood is people are on Facebook in the evening. And if they see comments coming through from a group they belong to, they may pitch in and have a conversation there because you're in the same real estate at the same time. You're already in the environment, so you might as well you know, stay there. Whereas with LinkedIn, you've got to jump to another app to get into a group conversation. And it's not that customer friendly, to be honest. And in inside the flagship app, there is no facility to find. You can find them, but you can't engage in the conversations. You you might be able to add one, but there's not a lot you can do there. Okay, mm -hmm. that's interesting. I, I wanted to answer, well, try and debate a little bit the the point that Bamboo by Sprout made earlier on which said links are often still pretty valuable though. Um, it's hard to reference some time without using links, which which is a good That's point. True. You know, if, if you have some content that you want to context and get a conversation going, then sometimes 
doing that adds value to the conversation. However, what nobody's doing that. Right. <laughs> Everybody's just putting the because they are sharing it somewhere else. They're not doing it inside LinkedIn. They're sharing it from somewhere else. Yep. And then, you know, through the LinkedIn sharing button or whatever, and then just sharing it to the groups and typing in the group names and then blasting it out because it's it's a process. Okay, I've got to blast this content to five groups today. Mm -hmm. um, because actually they know they're not going to get a conversation going on it. So because this is happening and it's been abused, I would go the other way and not use a link at all. If, if people are then asking for some evidence or the conversation goes in a certain direction, then you may go, actually, here's a good article. You might want to have a read. Then put it a link, yeah. Yeah, but first start with the conversation. It would definitely be an interesting experiment to see, you know, to see how that would work. I mean, maybe eventually, you know, if, if, if people just don't take off, um, you know, don't don't take off with that, you know, maybe maybe you stipulate and and this would be a nightmare for uh, for a group admins. But maybe you stipulate stipulate if you're going to put in a link add to the content, don't just put a link, you know, state why you think it's important you know, blah, 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 that type of thing. Any, any, um, any conversation starters that don't have this additional information will be deleted. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. Mm. Just, I'm, I'm just spitballing here at this point, but I mean, but you know, but maybe you start off with the no link, um, poly, you know, no link for, for the conversation starting thread at least. And then if that doesn't work, then maybe fall back to that or something. Or I don't know. If, if all fails, go to Facebook. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, Alex Mondosian t said it once. We were talking mm -hmm. about this. And he said, LinkedIn is like a library. People are very polite and professional. And then the same person goes to Facebook and it's like a playground where they let their hair go and they just yeah. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you and you can be in the same couple of minutes. You can go from one screen to the next and literally change your personality. Yeah, that's true. That's true. LinkedIn is definitely more of a of a button down business networking event, whereas uh, whereas Facebook is 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 the local neighborhood watering hole or something like that. You you could say, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, I've gone from business events to watering holes, and I mean, you know, you could definitely feel the uh, difference between those two. So yeah, so because you yeah. guys call it, you know, if you're in a in a working in an organization in an in an office environment, then you go and have a chat around the water cooler, don't you? Yep. And um, so yeah. that's probably what Facebook is about, rather than having a conversation in the marketing department, which is where they are, you know, just posting content in right. the marketing department. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, agree. we're too busy it's, here it's and we're marketing, so we yeah. can't talk. We're yeah. just we're posting content. Yeah. If you want to have a conversation, go over to the water cooler over there where these guys are. <laughs> LinkedIn is a monologue. Yeah, LinkedIn is just still no a monologue. Conversation. No, matter, like no matter how many of us try to make it a dialogue, which I mean, you know, I mean, we all know how to do um, uh, uh, update posting where we, we try to get conversation started. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You know, you you wish it would work work more. But when it does work, it works really well. I mean, I know that all three of us have had posts yeah. where there have been some incredible com conversations that have started just just from linking to an article. But we always provide extra context, whether it's asking a question or bringing a point. I mean, you know, all of the the types of things that we know how to do that get those conversations started. So I guess it's just up to us to train more people how to do it properly. That's it. Well, people do respond to messages yeah, when you send them messages. Yeah, they do. Questions. That's a good point. Especially like the birthday. It's like, did you do anything fun? And people tell me, oh, yeah, I went to dinner with my wife. Yeah. I went to a play. We went on vacation. Yeah. It's crazy. But they won't post right. it publicly. <laughs> this, uh, especially on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Facebook, they post too much sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> too much information. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> This should have a TMI feature. You Did know. you really have to take that picture? Right. You know, right. 
I'm like host it. <laughs> <laughs> or actually now that now that Facebook has has those additional um you know like wow sad or whatever they should add one that has like TMI and maybe like a big X through it or something like that so that so you can just indicate directly that you think it's too much in, in information or or maybe a, an icon that's like this or something like yeah, that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so I think it's up to uh, to my just one thing, and it's uh, and it's slightly different from you two, but um, but it does go in with 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 messaging and LinkedIn and Facebook. So I get. Uh, and, and this happened literally 10 minutes be before I signed on. I was going to talk about something else, but this really kind of ground my gears, basically. So um, so I get a message that's part of a group message with with 47 other people who I have no idea who these people are. And, and and I'm guessing and I'm guessing that uh, 50 is probably the maximum amount of people you can send one one message to. So this guy is probably sending 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. You know, in other words, he's spamming. But um, and and I won't mention the name, but uh, uh, but the message says, colleagues, we are thrilled to share with you our latest single. Mi canción favorita, a super fun bilingual cumbia written, blah 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 blah. Obviously, it's spam, and um, and obviously, um, you know, there are some places that are appropriate for this kind of thing, and there are others that aren't so much. And I know that sometimes I get criticized about, you know, oh, loosen up, you know, you know, LinkedIn, yeah, head, loosen up, or, Come on. Or, yeah. Yeah, but then you get stuff like this, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm sorry. This is this is just going too far. I mean, I mean, obviously this is a blast. Obviously, this guy is trying to uh, to get sales for this for this uh, for the single because be, because it links to uh, iTunes, and um, you know, it's just wow, that's a just, new one. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. So. Um, yeah, so so the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the three links, and I am leaving this conversation. I have left the conversation, and quite frankly, I'm surprised that other people haven't done that yet. I mean, do you think a lot of people don't know that they can actually leave conversations that well, are that I, are? I tell you, when you when you leave that conversation, everybody's going to get a notification that I left. That you left. And I so, don't care about this one, trust No, me. So, so what will happen, I'll tell you, I tell you a story about something that happened the other week. Mm -hmm. I started getting notifications of a conversation that a connection of mine had started where he invited people to come to some sort of networking event. Mm -hmm. I hadn't left that conversation, but nothing had happened. So someone left this conversation, so I got a message to say, such and such has left this conversation. I went... Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't remember getting this one recently. So there was a link in there, and I clicked yeah. through to the link, and I went, oh, my God, this networking event was last year, last February, a year ago, right? Now, as soon, <laughs> as, soon as this one person left the conversation, a mm -hmm. waterfall started. Yeah. Everybody started leaving the conversation. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and, and because That's they all funny. went, Oh my God, I've just had this message. I am going to leave this, you know, yeah. but it, they had the message a year ago and didn't do anything about it. But because this one person left mm -hmm. the conversation, everybody did. Hmm. Some of those more skeevy people would go, go, Hmm, this, uh, there's a strategy in here somehow. Maybe I should send a message yeah. to 50 people, wait a week and then unsubscribe and then it will become due again. Anyhow, I don't want to give people any ideas. Oh, no, but, no, um, no, no, <laughs> Let me just make a note of that. Idea. Yeah, exactly. oh, God, that's great. <laughs> yeah. You're a genius, Bob. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my evil mind takes over and yeah. uh, and it creates stuff like that. But <laughs> um but yeah, so I mean, you know, obviously that is getting back to the original message, that's a message more for for Facebook, maybe. I mean, you know, I could see somebody sending friends that that type of thing but i don't know this guy from adam uh i don't I, sh I should see when i you know one of the problems is oh there it is i can't i can't get to his profile from 
from the message because it's a group message. I, I guess I got to look him up. But um, but I would be strongly tempted to to drop this guy. I mean, especially because this guy hasn't reached out at all. You know, has hasn't tried to you know establish any type of communication with me or or whatever. And so, what's what's the key message from this experience that we want to leave our viewers and listeners with, Bob? Don't spam. Don't spam the multiple people, you know, don't max out 50. If, if, if you truly need to have a conversation with a big number of people, you're obviously not targeting your conversation well enough, basically. I mean, because unless it's, I mean, I would say that if you have like a product announcement or something like that, don't use messaging, just put it on your LinkedIn feed. I mean, the type of message that this guy sent should have been on on his uh, on a LinkedIn update and not directly in a um, in a message in, in a message conversation with with forty nine other people who have no idea who these people so, are. So, so how how could we use messages where we include, say, a couple of people or maybe one person? That's fine. Intelligently. So, what what purpose right. could, we, could we use it for? If if so, I'll, I'm kind. Of, it's kind of a leading question. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm feeling, I'll yeah. share with you what I'm what's going through my mind. Yeah, please do. And, and that is, if I want to get somebody, if I want to introduce somebody to you, Bob, mm -hmm. and go connect with Bob, I will go to your profile and I will share your profile, mm -hmm. and that will go to the messages mm -hmm. feed my mm -hmm. messages feed and I just put that person's name in mm -hmm. and it will share your profile link in the message and I can add you on copy as well right. to the conversation and say, hi, Jim, you know, go and check. Bob is the best person to speak about this. He knows everything there is to know about group messaging. <laughs> so go and talk to him. And, uh, um, and then we've got a conversation with just three folks, but, it kind of contacts it. It, it, it works really elegantly. And I, what I found is that there's a conversation that then starts going on and the three of us are involved in that conversation. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to go on forever, mm -hmm. but it's a meaningful conversation. Right. Because you're introducing somebody, yeah. you're, you're giving some context behind it, and then you can continue discussing whatever subject matter you wish. Mm -hmm. That's very different than sending a message to 50 people saying, I'm doing a webinar tomorrow. Right. Will you join me? Or you want to invest yeah, in exactly. my new fund? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Use this code to get 20% yeah. off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good point. Good point. So it's all about yeah. conversations. It's not about blasting people with spam. I mean, mm -hmm. that's 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 probably the, the biggest takeaway there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, there was one thing that came up um, that, that, that the, the, the group were chatting in Slack about, and this is this, this uh, topics thing on LinkedIn. Uh, you've, yeah, you've right. All, let me just share a link, see if I can share a link, if that works or not. Hold on a second. Another LinkedIn mystery. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> Okay, it doesn't give a preview on the, there's no photograph preview right. or anything like that. But um, I, I, what's it? if you click on it, it opens up and it'll open up a new window yeah, right. and you can view it. And so Beth, I think, brought this up or Colleen, one of the two. And it has been around for a while, but it's not as elegantly presented. So essentially it takes a skill from your profile anybody's profile and expands it right it 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 shows you the members who've got that skill it shows you mm -hmm. some courses on lynda.com yep it shares some posts in pulse there might be some slide shares with the subject and then there is some other context mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, the one I shared is social selling, but it could be any any skill at all. Um, 
So it's it's quite an interesting little um, database. Some years ago, you were there was a similar thing that existed. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a similar thing that existed. And if you had a skill on your profile, or as it was called, I think speciality. Speciality, yep. And it it was like a yeah. it was hyperlinked to a page where it showed you how many people in the world had that skill. And it gave you a lot of in-depth statistics about this skill. Uh, it, was, it was really, really amazing. Talk about big data. It was, it was awesome data. And it just stopped. When they updated the skills, they just removed it. But I guess this is the mm -hmm. new version of what they had all those years ago. I never kept yeah. a screenshot of it, so I can't. I can't describe all the things that were on that page, but it's cool. But you can't find this unless you know how to type it in, right? There's not on the menus. It's not in the footer. No, that's right. But there, there yeah, is I mean, a how menu. You, how, how do you get to it? Oh, so when you try to go to LinkedIn.com/topic, I mean, you know, just at you know, like the top of the directory, if you remember, you know, DOS and stuff like that, it gives you page not found. That's yeah, so you have to put a skill in there, and then you can put another yeah, skill. There but there's, a... Yeah, but there's no homepage, you know, homepage, quote unquote, for yeah. this. Yeah, exactly. that's just bizarre. There is a homepage. Let me find it. Oh, there, there is? Okay, yeah, but it's there just is, not. There is. Because sometimes you can log out of LinkedIn and go down to the footer, and you can see a bunch of links that take you to great stuff. But you can't ever get scroll down to get to that footer unless you log right, out. Right? Yeah, because LinkedIn. they had the infinite scroll for, for for some stuff. Yeah. 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 I, they have some great stuff on their site that you just can't get to unless you know where to go. It's unfortunate. Let's see. So it's a pity, that's for sure. Give me a minute, and I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, it's definitely not available from the uh, from from the top nav. Um, yeah, okay. it's it, it, it's not available from like anywhere, and of course you can't get to the bottom of the page because they have infinite scroll. Right. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me let me put it in the chat for a moment. Okay. So, do you think this adds any value? This little feature. Uh, directory top, oops, open. Okay, so that's just, uh, okay, that's, that's, that's better than, than nothing. Although, man, that's, there are a ton yeah. of topics there. I mean, that's just you, A, so you just need to click on the letters and. Yeah, so for S. Social media. So social selling. Let's see. Social selling. Difficult to find, right? How does that? Social selling isn't even listed here. No, although it does exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, LinkedIn, how we love you. There is another directory somewhere else. Uh... Topics directory, S corporations through speakers of Mandarin. That's what this uh, topic page is. There's something similar to this too. If you log out of LinkedIn, look in the footer, you can see every job title that's listed on LinkedIn. Wow. So everything. So if you're looking for a specific company, you can go to like HP and find out all the job titles that are listed in all the HP employees. Oh, geez. It's great if you're trying to get into a company like that and you're trying to search for specific right, yeah, job titles. Right, yeah, definitely. Wow. The wonders of LinkedIn. So our, With all that data, Microsoft's going to have a field day if they use this data Yeah, correctly. I mean, well, I mean, LinkedIn's not using it correctly. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Microsoft can 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 do a better job with it than, than LinkedIn itself does. Did you see that interview with Reed Hoffman last week? He had an interview about him about the no, Microsoft. No, I didn't. Oh, what did you have to say? He was basically saying it's a good move because they kind of reached the point. They didn't know what to do, <laughs> <laughs> essentially. <laughs> 
we have yeah. reached the end of our it's business like we got plan. This what do we do incredible. next? Incredible. <laughs> the end of our business plan. <laughs> what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> No, they clearly needed more funding to take go in the next level, but they didn't know which yeah. level to pick because most of their money comes from recruiting, but they have so many other opportunities. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> so there's the main directory right there. Browse that's right. Browse companies, browse education topics, browse industry topics. So does anyone on the call th see this? Yeah, valuable, that's, this yeah that's actually a really good question. Uh, if And and I'm going to get rid of this here just so people can can pop in that that fourth window if they want to. Um, so, uh, yeah, do you see any value to this? Because I think we're all kind of scratching our heads right now, and we definitely want to hear from from you. So so the link to the main one is, is the last one that Michael posted there, that LinkedIn.com slash directory slash topics. If you have something there, uh, if, if you have any thoughts, let us know because um, I mean, I because the 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 way that one page was structured was was interesting. Um, I'm just not sure, you know, what 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 value it, it it really brings besides trying to 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 sell a Linda course. Which actually, what's funny is I did click on uh, link. LinkedIn training because at the bottom it says it says words to the effect of you know people interested in this topic are also interested in blah 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 one of those was LinkedIn training I clicked on LinkedIn training no Linda link there mm -hmm. so wow. so I don't know if that means Linda doesn't have uh, LinkedIn training or if nobody made the link or whatever but I thought that in itself was just kind of interesting yeah yeah it's, there's some things that are not hundred percent because if you click on some of the letters they don't go anywhere mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just i just clicked on one of the things which is the internet of things as a skill okay and it's, it's telling me there are 91 and a half thousand linkedin members who have this skill right it's not that many in the world what's really interesting it tells me where they work right so it's giving me the companies that where those people are the, the big and big numbers, not every single number. Uh huh. It also tells me what else are they skilled at. So that's interesting. Yeah, and and what they are skilled at. So it's telling me. So people have got who have got the Internet of Things on their profile. The top one is project management, which you would mm -hmm. expect. I would expect then that. Management, software development, cloud computing, Java, business development, mm -hmm. strategy, and then. Uh, C plus plus C, Linux. So if I click now, I and these these buttons are you can click on them. So, so the next thing I get then is uh, so I click on business development, but it just takes me to another skills page with the same kind of data. But then yeah. I am able to go and click through on Pulse articles and look at those. So. It's perhaps another way to drill down and find folks that you can strike up a conversation with. Because yeah, I can see that. Yeah, if you were looking for people in a particular who are skilled at certain things that you want to get in front of, mm -hmm. so let's say we want to get in front of people that do business development. You know, we could find a Pulse article. Uh, by somebody mm -hmm. and I could click through on it and I'm just doing that now live so I've got somebody who says as business developer must I wear this hat okay there's an article there and I could now find this person and start a conversation inside his pulse post because so often I think the trouble is that you cannot find the right person to strike up a conversation with without a connection request right because groups is dead yeah. we know that <laughs> so yeah. there's no point going there so this could be an alternative and and we know that you need sales navigator if you want to do deep search right but if you have this available as free then you could do some deep search on that and get to somebody who's writing about the subject matter that you're interested in yep. getting in front of those people Right. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, 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 I do. I do, actually. Yeah. And Bamboo by Sprout says it can help you understand your community personas better and it'd be good yeah. for HR yep. departments. 
I could see it for running ads too, because sometimes I run LinkedIn ads and target certain mm-hmm. skills. And this will tell me additional skills that That's target it. audience yeah. has. Yeah. 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 So it's like keyword search yeah. almost, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's giving me that persona of all the C programmers, all the other skills. That so they then you can target your ad based too. on all of those skills. Yeah. So more yeah, of right. them will get to see those ads. Yeah, the right, right people will see those ads because they may have four or five yeah, skills that I'm perfect. looking for. Yeah, that's great. So we yeah. have. It's definitely a yeah. rabbit hole aspect yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, totally. Similar interest right. skills. Yeah, so everyone on this call has just experienced <laughs> how we create strategies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. It's true. <laughs> Well, it's yeah, great to it brainstorm is, with people is. because you, you know you it sit is. there thinking. At first, I thought this is totally useless, yeah. <laughs> but now I see a lot of value in it. You went to a big gobble there, Ted. <laughs> nope, I see it's very useful now. I, you changed me. You converted me from a right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I see it Bamboo as valuable. Now. Teamworks make the dream work. Yeah, I I, oh, I, I absolutely that. agree with that. <laughs> I absolutely agree with that. Love that. So, so I think so. I think on that positive note, let's uh, let's let's wrap up the session, especially because we're bumping up against uh, we're bumping up against the top of the hour here. So uh, I just want to thank everyone for for joining us. Thank you very much for the comments. We always appreciate it. Uh, we are here every Wednesday at eleven o'clock Eastern. 8 a.m. Pacific, and however that translates to your corner of the world. Uh, for Ted and Michael, I'm Bob Woods. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you back here next week. Bye. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Well Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Bamboo by Sprout. Thanks, everybody. We, 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 we appreciate all, all the comments today very much. Come Consider back next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.